There's nothing worse than getting stuck on the side of the road or in a parking lot and not having a friend to help you with jumper cables to hook up to another car. That's why we have the V2200 Plus from Top Don. You can hook it up, you don't need a buddy, and it also is a two-in-one device. It does battery testing and jump starting. So let's hook it up and we'll show you how it works. So before we hook this up to the battery, I'm actually gonna walk you through and show you all of the inputs and outputs that it has and some of the features and functions. So to turn on the device, you're gonna hold down the power button and that is gonna illuminate what percentage the battery of the V2200 Plus, what state it's at. If you come over here to the side, you have two USB ports. One is a 3.0 quick charge port and the other one is a 2.1. These are both outputs. On this side of it, you have a USB-C that is an input and an output, either one, that's how you charge the device. And you also have a DC output. Up here on the top, you're gonna have where you connect your jumper cables. And then it also has a flashlight. And to turn that on, you're gonna hold down the power button until it comes on. If you click it again, it's gonna flash. And one more click is gonna give you an SOS pattern. Now we're gonna hook up the jumper cables. We'll open this top flap, grab our jumper cables. The nice part is there's only one way that this will go in, so you can't mess it up. Plug that in. Then we're gonna grab and hook up our negative to the negative and our positive to the positive. Now, what's great is that this is gonna actually let you know on the side if you have it hooked up correctly. So if we were to go back and hook this up incorrectly, put the positive on the negative and the negative on the positive, you're gonna get an alert, an audible alert, and also a red light, so you can't mess that up. So now we'll go ahead, we'll hook this up, and then we are ready to jump into the car and turn on the key. Now that we've seen how the battery jump starter works, we're gonna grab our phone and dive into the app to show you how to do battery testing. So after you've downloaded the Jump Surge app on your phone, then we're gonna be able to take just these jumper cables. You actually don't need the jump box and you're gonna hook it up to your battery. Now, once you do that, you'll see that we have our Bluetooth light flashing. So now we'll jump over into the app. Once we've paired to Bluetooth, now we can jump into the app and start doing our battery test. All right, so you'll be able to see here on the app that we have a voltage on the main screen, but we're gonna jump into our battery test. There'll be some uh, text here to tell you how to go about it, but we already know that, so we're gonna skip past it. We have a regular flooded battery that's a CCA rated, and this particular battery is 850 cold cranking amps, so we're gonna go ahead and enter that. We'll hit next. It's gonna perform the battery test. So we have a good battery. Uh, it's 100% state of charge, actually tested above its CCA rating. Uh, at this point, we can either click the share button and share it like you would share other stuff on your phone, or we can go on back. Now we'll jump in and do a cranking test, but to do that, we've gotta get into the car. All right, so we're gonna go ahead into cranking tests. We have a couple of steps here. We're gonna turn off all accessories. So I have the radio off, the uh, HVAC off. I've got our headlights off. So we're gonna click next. That's gonna remind you, make sure you, all systems are off and press confirm and start the vehicle. So we're gonna hit confirm and we're gonna start the vehicle. Ask if the engine started successfully, we'll hit okay. And we have normal cranking voltage. So 10.2 volts, 712 milliseconds of cranking time. Again, we can share this report just like we did with the battery test. Now we'll back out. We're actually gonna shut the car off. All right, so now we're gonna jump in and do our charging test. We've got three steps here. We're gonna hit next. It's gonna say to turn off all of our accessories and start the vehicle and press okay. Press okay. Then we'll hit next to go on to step two. It says that you need to keep all electronics off, increase the RPMs to 2,500 and hold it and press okay. And then we're gonna stay on the throttle until we get through step three. So we're gonna hit okay. We're gonna increase to 2,500. 
We're gonna hit next. So I ask you to turn all of your accessories back on. So we're gonna turn the radio, the air conditioning, and the headlights on and click OK. Right, now we can let off. So now we can see that we've got a loaded voltage of 14.4 on volts, an unloaded of 14.55, and our ripple. And again, we can share this just like we would any other report. We also have one other option on here where we can look at our real-time voltage. And so this is a nice little graph that's gonna constantly show us what's going on with our voltage and you can see that in a graph form. You can also go back and review any of our test reports here. So we've got the date listed and uh, we got a charging test that we did. We did a cranking test and a battery test. You can jump into any of those and review them. So really nice to be able to go back and get to that information if you have to. So that's the V2200 Plus from Top Don. Get out and get yours today.